Hey guys, it's Crystal. And we started out and we're still doing our one bag challenge. Uh, if you want to know what that is, <coughs> put that video up there. Uh, or and or also maybe a picture. And, and basically I'm arting out of a zip log um, gallon bag for the month. So, I, or as long as I can go. <laughs> Um, I, we all, well, lots of us filled one to the brim, and the key is you had to be able to shut it to count it, and that's what, whatever's in the bag is what you use for all month, or as soon as you can do it. <laughs> so, yay, I'm excited. Um, if you guys are, aren't in the group or on Instagram, you're probably going, ooh, what's that beauty? Well, that beauty was number seven of the one bag challenge, and... See, you're going to miss things if you don't follow me on one or the other. <laughs> Alright, so while doing this, and why I actually showed you, is I used, <coughs> excuse me guys, this Deco um, acrylic paint that I had in my bag before um, I picked. Well, I wanted it to be able to see through it, you know, I didn't want it so thick where I couldn't see through it. So I took some in the cat room, me telling you guys this could have been used for two different things. Um, and I added some water and just made it really um, consistency I want a while. I, whenever I do that, I always have a lot of it left. So what I didn't use there, interesting, I used a lot. Um, I actually used here to start, you know, another page or just to get it going. So I thought for number eight, why don't you guys come along and let's work on this to get it done. Oh my goodness. And here I go once again yawning. Oh my god. Every freaking time. I'm gonna start calling it the yawn channel. Jeez, but it makes sense. Every it's the time of night I'm getting the art here. It's like uh, yeah. Anywho, I'm looking at my wall and I don't know why I see I'm trying to not get off base. I really have to pay attention to what I'm doing when I art like this guys. This is gonna be a real time one. Um because I'm trying to find something to do and I'm not finding it, so um, <laughs> we're just gonna pick up this it's not working up for pickups. And start making some marks. Um, let me know below, guys. How are you finding this one bag challenge? If you are playing along, how is it going? Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying it but feel like you're gonna run out of ideas? You know, how's it going? Me, I'm just pleasantly having fun. It has stoppled me a little bit because I'm like, oh, I just want to sit down and mark. Well, then I sit down and I'm like, oh, shit, I'm going to use just the bag. <laughs> and um, I've actually talked myself out of already once because of that. And I told myself, no, no more. You do it. And if you can't, then we'll know when it's done, you know. So, a little too much, too much information probably, huh? I cut these guys out for uh, the previous page. I actually thought I was going to use them. I actually have a quote over here, so I might just incorporate those in here and see where it goes. Um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what should we do here? I like this. Uh -oh. Make marks, right? This one's in this color down here. Just going along, guys. Right? This is just me, <laughs> me needing to do something. Get my mind off the crud it's going to. And I know you know what I'm just saying with that. Uh, I'm just going to spray here too. That was in my, my paper bag of fun. Uh, 
Now remember, I um, don't have all the colors that I would normally have uh, because I, I couldn't fit them all in my bag. <laughs> Trust me. Um, that's not the point of it, though. Um, so, um, I do have a rag, just like water. I feel like uh, this is something that's an everyday thing, you know, it's easy to come by. I don't feel like I should have to. Um, you know, that's, uh, it's, you know what I want, I just can't find it. I'm so off because when I'm learning, I have all my stuff where I, I need it. Um, and now I have to look in this one box, so I'm like, seem to be always looking for stuff. Even though I know, I already looked at it. You, you know what I'm saying? Do you? Okay, I want some white. So maybe some purple. Or some just you want white or just up? I want white, white. Oh, that's not going to stay up. I'm going to talk to myself a lot. Some Gregory's white. I am dying with these, these friggin' tins of it. Killing me. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one, guys. I think my cap's screwed on. And if that's the case, I'm just gonna grab a different white because oh, there it comes. These I've never had problems with, but I really, oh, um, really have to um, get them cleaned out or because it's become a problem. Um, I don't know how to. I take a black and it just peeled right off, so I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I need a use. Yeah, get money. Oh, see, every time I go to do something, I squeeze on it. Dang it. Alright, I don't. This isn't like got anything to do with my art page, so we know this out. It's a dang fish. Um, I have not. I'm kind of medicated, so let's see what I play with those. I have to do something because they're killing me. I can't get it open. Yeah, I'm not happy about this at all. Huh. So they, if I try to do anything, the paint's going to go up. The only problem with these is, um, um, I would have, would I buy it, pay for it full price up now? And it's not because the paint's not good. It is. It's fabulous paint, um, but I don't need that fabulous of a paint um, for the price. Um, and I got these on clearance two years, last year, year before. It's like two years, I don't know. Um, I got them when they were in France and Malone. I bought, like, every one they had. I think I got the whole set, the least ones that I wanted. Um, there was a few colors I didn't buy because I don't feel I need to buy the whole set when I know I'm not going to use, um, certain colors a lot. And I don't need ten different oranges. I don't use a lot of oranges. Um. You know, I actually have that lately, <laughs> which is weird. Um, where my color changes go in my career. Um, I am just making marks, guys. That's it. If you're wondering about um, what is going on, this um, actually is newspaper print, and um, my desk is. You guys have seen that. Well, it's kind of hard to. I don't know if it's a black, the sheen of it. It just reflects horrible. Um, and I was trying to think of a way to do this without, you know, a big expensive tablet. And Tiffany, Southern Bell, and some sort of fat, Tiffany, I just don't mean Tiffany. Um, I'll put her down low. Uh, she uses the um, her kind of backdrop, the white box of paint at least, um, and then she uses it in the white box pages in her journals and stuff. You know, you guys know I I I hate wasting, and I've got so many piles and piles of like these type of uh, you know half painted <laughs> type of pages 
you know, um, come out of my rear. So anything that could maybe that's a little bit of that and maybe even have a little more juicier of a art piece, to, uh, you know, yeah. So at, at Hobby Lobby, um, it was on sale. I did not have to use it, but it was already on sale 40%. Uh, it was six, seven bucks. Yeah. So even at full price, it was 13. <laughs> I mean, really cheap. All right. Now I gotta take a break. Woo, doggy. Oh, man. I know this is actually a tape. Um, Oh, okay, I don't want that, but I do want some of that, some of that color that I have. Um, you know, if you were wanting to make, like, a themed maggot, or the, holy moly, if you were wanting to make a themed, um, like, journal, I've seen a few people, like, in the, in the art magazines and things, and the projects, so I mean, this thing. This would be a great way of how to have a cohesive look if you literally did this. Um, I'm finding even in certain ones I have, you know what I mean? They just, even if the pages are totally opposite, there's still like a cohesiveness to them. So that's something, and it just dawned on me, you know. So here, hey, you know, that would make a really cohesive look. Da, da, da. Yeah, not the quickest one. Alright. I'm just kind of playing with it. I don't know what that's paper. I've got some oh, little guys here. I've got two of them. Thank you. 
something. Yeah, there we go. Why not? Why not? I'm going to go backwards. Wrote down whatever popped in my head with some weirdness. I'm not even gonna go sharing that stuff with you. <laughs> you don't want to go down that tunnel, trust me. I'm down it and I'm, I don't understand it. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's happening now? Oh man, sorry, I still got right in the mud. I gotta do it. Why am I apologizing for already? Good question, right? Uh, um, I know I'm wanting something, and I just not. I'm wanting like something cut out of something or something. Okay, I don't know where to go. Let's set this to the side. Okay. And I know I have those stencils somewhere. I don't think she's going to be big enough, though. No, they're not. We're going to make her own silhouette. Not feeling what I have. The problem with being more intuitive with your art can be a fickle bitch. Um, okay, what do we want? I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of play here. Guys. <laughs> Other side is the side I'm going to actually use. <laughs> and obviously, this side, you don't want to. Okay, so cut this out. I'm going to cut this out real quick. I'm not going to do it on the palette. This is real time. Real time it is. This might look really bad, guys. <laughs> so, you may not use it. Scraps because you know it's just what's in my bag, you know. So I might use it. Because if I do it, that makes me motion sick. Yeah, I'm weird. I told you guys, really weird. 
This glue stick, yes, it's a permanent one, and it's a really darn good one. Um, but it hasn't sat for like 24 hours. I used the heat gun, so I'm trying to be gentle with it. <laughs> And then I'm going to probably go back over it. 
um, the black now. After I since when I get this dark as dark as I want it, I'm probably going to go over it with uh, just a bubble all here on the outline center now. I'm gonna see that which we were actually live for <laughs> I'm like how good that glue stick and that's just Hobby Lobby's brand of glue stick. Oh, I can move too much and then start to move that. There we go. Alright. I don't know. What does it look like? It's not horrible. It's not great either, but it's not horrible. Okay, now I want to add, I know it's so wet, I don't care. I'm going to add some gold. I need some gold. Okay, the gold that he needs to do down there. We're just going to do this literally. Um, oh. Don't worry, I'm going to take it to the office. I'm just going to kind of a little mess on it. And then I look at four. Ah, oh, my buddy. This is just Mary, and where the heck is it? There it is. Ah. I don't want to get a little more water on there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, she is looking cool now, guys. See, it's a little shimmy, shimmy, cocoa, couple of Oh, I hope you guys can see that. As well as you probably not, but I like it. I like it a lot. Awesome. Okay, now, okay. Put that away. Paper napkin. We are not going to be pale. Alright, I need to put this up here. Does Danny want to put it in like, like a thing and then have her hold that? I don't know. Let me see here. I don't know how good um, that would look with that. It would look stupid. So. No, I don't like it. Nope. Piece of black paper. Black. We have washing tape and it's not black. Oh, I got it. I got it. No. Oh, guys, wait. This is where it sucks when you're starting out of a bag. Alright, we're going to take uh, this piece of paper here. I'm just going to move this over. Oh, don't use that. Oh, no. I have this light here. I'm just going to take, I have, where is it? My black ink pad that I, I put in my thing. I'm just going to do this. To get some black. Um, otherwise, you could take, I, I could have took a acrylic paint and painted it, or watercolor, or whatever I had. Um, but I'm going to do it this way. Just going to it. It'll look cool. So there you go. Mm 
I'm not gonna put it on this other side because I'm afraid I'm gonna rip it into some really old paper. And it says, an artist must be also a thinker and a prophet if his her creations are to have the breath of life. So, I thought that would look cool. Cool, cool, cool. And I actually pulled that and I'm like, this is us, you guys. I was going to try to work on the other page. And I just didn't go there. So I'm sitting there, why not use it? Right? I can let how one page becomes two. <laughs> Wish they were bigger. This was throwing me off the smallness of the words. I don't want to like that. I don't want to like that at all. I like a little mess. Looks good. Let me guess what the problem is. Not enough mess. Yes, 
working. Sorry, I'm getting my brushes out of the water. I'm going in behind me. All right, I like that, guys. Um, and I think that's gonna call it for this page. This is number eight. So let me mark that down. Try to keep track of where it counts. Forget on the video which one I'm on. Now you may see one or a video or a video later than what number it is <laughs> because of processing the video and stuff. So there you go. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you haven't tried the one bag challenge or jumped in on it, why not? It is very fun challenge. It motivates you, makes you think outside the box. And so it's easy to get overwhelmed, not only in life, but in our art supplies too. All right, guys, talk to you next time.